Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon, and the focus is on live action from Liga. It's Paris FC, and they take on Strasbourg. Yeah, thanks Derek, both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start, so important to get focus from the off, really looking for... He's in with a chance, it's still alive. Here's the table, and whatever way you slice it, you've got to conclude that Paris FC are playing above themselves, Lee. Well, who would have thought it? A Europa League spot just around the corner. Can they withstand the pressure that that brings? The players look relaxed, the manager looks relaxed. It'll be the fans. The fans are the one that get nervous first. They're looking at this group of players saying, what if? And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Abdi. They are on the move again. Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. Lala. Well, Derek, they're not happy. Ref is taking the brunt of this. Sissoko. Sergio Alvarez. Sissoko. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Space and time for the cross. Well, they couldn't do anything with that particular cross. Conte. Abdi. A very good tackle. Ronaldo on the ball. Sergio Alvarez. Straight down the throat of the opposition. Monduki. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Bendassa. Hernandez. Juan Camilo Hernandez. Sissoko. he stopped them just when they looked menacing and well, they do like to press whenever they can so tight this game who's going to break the deadlock be brave be a hero take chances well cleared away genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion but have it, it has to be well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Bendassa, Sizoko. It's with Motiba. And the cross is very much on. Lost it. Abdi. Conte. for the cross giving it a try well, really that would be meat and drink to most goalkeepers yeah goalkeeper fully in control there and with that the first half draws to a close gotcha. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half 
in which they were so very evenly matched. It's with Motiba. And now Ben Asser. Sizoko. Really a very poor ball. It is a decent looking attack here. Will that lead to the goal that puts them ahead? And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, here it is. A striker's bread and butter. Simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. One nil then. Hernandez. Sizoko. Possession and patience. Surely it wasn't far away from the target, Lee. No, it was decent. Really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. A league that's always technically very sound, Liga. And a game for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Paris FC up against Amiens. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. He has plenty of support. And putting his body on the line. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. An unforced error, you've got to say. Has a go. Got to it easily, the keeper. Bernardo, Sergio Alvarez, a league that always seems to produce fine young players, League A, an action coming up on EA TV, it's Strasbourg facing Nantes. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. Oh, look at that, Strasbourg certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the... It's still alive! I should think Arsenal fans are in a pretty good mood following this news. The contract situation ironed out and he might be in action pretty soonly. Well, it's a reported fee of around £45 million, Derek. He's definitely worth that sort of money in my book. Good, solid pro. Technically really gifted too. Hernandez still behind, but the pressure mounting. And teammates to play it to. He must finish! The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Slipshod passing. And fed forwards. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Only 10 minutes remaining here. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. It did look as though it was rather a fruitful avenue, but nothing doing. <laughs> Tremendous intuition to win it back. The high press can't miss, surely. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Well, can't get any closer to getting back into this game late, late on. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Bernardo on the ball. Sergio Alvarez. Ben Nasser. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And now 
it is truly final. The match is over. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And very excited to be bringing you live action from Ligue 1, the top division here in France. It's Amiens, and they face Paris FC. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Should be a good game, this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot. Fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Conta Cornet. And news of a goal in the Lille match coming through. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Lille. Four minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. And Cornet on the ball. Crossing possibilities. Conta Cornet. In full control of the ball here. Back from the byline. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And the ball with Thomas Monconduy. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Well, here's the table. And whatever way you slice it, you've got to conclude that Paris FC are playing above themselves, Lee. Well, who would have thought it? A Europa League spot just around the corner. Can they with... Just over the crossbar with that header. Oh, it's a perfect cross. It's a perfect position. And he just gets underneath it over the bar. Well, real excitement here. I say that because it is his long-awaited debut coming up. What should we be looking for from him, Lee? Well, Derek, he's got this canny knack of knowing what the winger's going to do before the winger knows himself, reads the opposition brilliantly well, covers the whole length of the pitch to a real athlete. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Right, there's been a goal at the Groupama Stadium. Alan McAnally has details. It's a goal for Leon. 21 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. An attack full of promise. Wide of the target, and he's going to be disappointed. Disappointed? Wow, it's a shocker. He should be doing a lot, lot better than that. Well, the focus on many of the back pages coming into today's game, very much on him. The rumours are true. He is going to end his wonderful career at the end of this season. And what a loss for the club that is bound to be, Lee. Well, legend is a very overused word in my book in football, but... This guy deserves that label. He'll be sadly missed next season for sure. How do they make up for him not being there? Looks like the transfer window for me. Cleared away. Bylant. Well, it's one thing to win the ball. Now, what can you do with it? Aware of the threat, solving the problem. 
Well, there's no getting away from it. This is the man so many people have been focusing on ahead of this particular game. And for Ports uh, to be believed, this could... And attempting the through ball. It's got to be! And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him. No problem for the goalie. Well, you have to say, Derek, it's been a bore draw so far. Nobody really pushing the boat out. Somebody has to take a chance. Somebody really has to try and win this game. Read it superbly to take back possession. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Given away. On the ball, Blair. Ali Sami with it. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Kada moving the ball effectively. Given away. And the whistle is sounded for half. The two teams have switched around. And are ready now for the second half. An important interception. He's got space. And space for the cross. Firing it towards goal. Wonderful chance. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. And that is not going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. They've given it away. And the ball with Thomas Monconduy. Well, great read there to intercept. Space on the flank. Oh, he's through here. Will he finish? opening goal of the contest well it was always going to be a tight game but now all of a sudden one team ahead things have got to change on both sides well here it is again you're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions and never in any real doubt he'd finish that cool and composed the opening goal of the game then Another game to put on your calendar. Join us on EA TV for Liga Live. It's Amiens facing Monaco. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute bell to Derek. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build up. Moncordui. It's there for him. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Let's go now to Alan McAnally because there's been a goal in the game at the Groupama Stadium. Alan? It's a third goal for Leon. 59 minutes played, 3-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Nothing wrong with that idea. And on the basis of that effort, quite clearly, he's not wearing his shooting boots at the moment. Well, it was a strong effort. Used his laces, but uh, screwed it well off target. Conta Cornet. Going well. This looks promising. Useful ball to the near post. Clearing the lines, and so it will be a corner now. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And he's fired up. My goodness, Lee, the goalkeeper had his work cut out for him, but delivered. Yeah, that's what they do. Look at that save, a brilliant effort. Mendoza, Zungu, untidy in possession. The visitors are struggling with possession, really, but they won't mind without the win in this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them, and with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Moving into the advanced position. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Right, there's been a goal at the Groupama Stadium. Alan McAnally has details. It's another goal for Leon. 75 minutes played, 4-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. 
More excitement from Liga coming your way on EA TV. It's Paris FC facing Rennes. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. And a substitution in the offing. Ali Sami with it. Mendoza and played in. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five and, and slipped through beautifully. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. Well, he normally delivers, I think that's fair to say, but he hasn't delivered in this match. Well, all eyes are on him, and quite rightly so. He's normally a very influential player, but not today. Not sure he'll be able to get his team back into this, to be honest with you. Sadly, you've got to say, miles off target. Well, if it had just bent it, or maybe just gone for a bit more accuracy. Instead, he went for the strong shot, and he just fluffed his lines. Roberts It needs an accurate cross Wonderful chance And the referee blows for full time